The question of what it takes to succeed in a given profession is not, when it comes down to it, all that difficult. Uh, there exists, from uh, surgery to politics, from advocacy to IT, uh, a constellation of traits which serve as a kind of psychological booster rocket. Uh, business is no exception. And here, it turns out, certain psychopathic characteristics really do, it would seem, appear to come into their own. Several years ago, a team of psychologists from the University of Surrey in the UK conducted a bizarre experiment. They pitted a bunch of top business executives against a bunch of criminals from within a maximum security unit on a test similar to the PPI and compared their responses. What they discovered was extraordinary. A range of psychopathic characteristics, charm, egocentricity, persuasiveness and a lack of empathy and focus were actually more common among the executives than the executioners. Where the difference between the two groups did show up was when it came to the more overtly antisocial manifestations of psychopathy. Here, unsurprisingly, the executioners did come out on top, posting uh, higher readings on criminal behaviour and physical aggressiveness, uh, and lower readings, respectively, on discipline and self-control. And that's not all. Uh, a recent study examining the personality profiles of so-called hero populations, those who work in law enforcement, the military and the rescue services, for instance, paints a similar picture. Fearlessness, social dominance and stress immunity dials are all turned up to the right, whereas antisocial narcissism and impulsivity dials are contrastingly turned to the left. Further evidence of the benefit of psychopathic characteristics in the boardroom uh, comes from work carried out by the Canadian psychologist Bob Hare, who I mentioned to you just a few moments ago. Hare handed out his psychopathy checklist to over 200 top US business executives and compared the presence of psychopathic traits within the corporate community to that found within the general population at large. The results, to say the least, were an eye-opener. Not only did the execs come out on top, but psychopathy was positively associated with in-house ratings of charisma and presentation style, with creativity, good strategic thinking, and communication skill. And also, if the results of another recent study are anything to go by, with the ability not just to tolerate risk, but to thrive on it.